Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Uh, you may have seen in the past where I did a video on how to route audio using virtual audio cables, or you may have seen my other video about the beta OBS studio feature that allows you to route application audio uh, specifically by each individual application. But today I'm here to show you a demo on the Mixline software by Logitech G. So I got to see a demo of this product during my visit to TwitchCon in Las Vegas this year, and I'm gonna show you how to set it up and use it for yourself. So I'll post a link down below so that you can download this software for yourself and let me know if you have any trouble or if you have any questions or what you think of the software. Good luck, let's get started. All right, so here we have the Mixline uh, software. This is what it looks like to start. You've got your inputs on the left, your outputs on the right. We haven't added any yet, so it will look blank like this. But before we begin, I would like to um, go over a couple quick setup things. So a couple things you're gonna have to do here are uh, down here, you're either gonna want to set your Windows audio device to be speakers mix line, or you can uh, right click, go into open sound settings, app volume and device preferences. And in here for applications that you want to route, you can manually set to mix line, but you might not have to do this because uh, mix line can do this automatically. I usually leave mine set to my Logitech speakers. And then when I add the source in line, it will do this for you. If you close mix line and you're not hearing your applications anymore, go back into this screen and set this back to default for it to come out of your regular output. So again, you shouldn't have to change these, but uh, if Mixline tells you anywhere that there's additional work to do, you might have to go into your individual application and set Mixline as the output. Or again, you can do it right here at your main audio source. Another thing you might want to do is set Mixline to boot with your PC and to do that you can click your start button, go to mix, search Mixline, right click, go to open file location, right click, copy the shortcut right here, hold the Windows key and R and go to SH, you want shell, colon, startup and then what you can do is paste program there and it will now start up with Windows. All right, so now we're back here with Mixline. So the first thing you are going to want to do is add your output or your input. Um, for me, I like to use my main output is my Logitech speakers. That's where all my sound goes to. I also just plug my headphones right into that. So I don't need to change anything there. And then also add Mixline Street. Now for inputs, um, we want to have our Spotify music on here. Let's add Discord here. And if you don't see an application in here, make sure that the application is open and has audio uh, running to it. For a game example today, we are going to use Call of Duty. And so now here's an example of what I was talking about before. Uh, this application slash game requires additional steps. So you click the warning and it will tell you to go to the audio settings and select mix line as the speaker output. So because I didn't set mix line as my main speaker. So what I would do now is go into your game or whatever, go to your settings audio. And I want my speaker headphone to be speakers mix line. And then that should be good there now. And now uh, back in the mix line app here. So what we will do is we we'll also add our microphone, so we'll add the X. Okay, so once you've got your uh, inputs and sound sources in here that you're gonna wanna use, to be able to, anything you wanna hear yourself, you will just drag from the plus and go over to here. Now I can hear my Spotify music going through my Realtek audio, which is my Logitech Z5300 speakers. We want Discord sounds to be going into our speakers as well. We want to be able to hear Call of Duty. We also want the stream to be able to hear our game. We want the stream to be able to hear our Discord chat. And we want the stream to be able to hear what's coming out of our microphone. If you ever want to hear what the stream hears from your microphone, just connect this up to your speaker and then you can now hear yourself talk. But we don't want to do that, so we'll just get rid of that one. So another thing I want to show you how to do is uh, for our Spotify music, we don't want that to show up in our, in our VOD. So the best thing for us to do would be to add another output, add Mixline Record, and I'll show you what to do here. Drag, 
your or anything you don't want in your uh, Twitch VOD, drag over to Mixline Record here. We've got Discord, our game, and our Yeti all routed in here. And you can manually control the sound levels going to each one. So if I want COD lower in my headphones or lower on the stream, I can just do that right here. Or you can also change the volume of all of your inputs connected by lowering the stream volume right here. And now um, I'll show you how to set this up in Streamlabs desktop um, now that we've got all of our audio routed. So what you would do is add a source here and then uh, you can go down to audio input capture, add source, and then we want to add a new source. We want Mixline stream, add source, and this device we want to be the microphone, Mixline stream. Uh, audio monitoring we want off because we don't need to hear it ourselves and then that should be good to go for that and then now also what you want to do is add another source for your audio input capture add source add a new one and we're going to name this one mixline cord add source device we want to change this to microphone mixline record and out of your stream tracks here remove number two and then that should remove it from the vod track so it'll be on stream but it won't show up in your twitch vod so you've got both your mixline record and your mixline stream now so anything that is routed here to your again your speakers or your headphone this is what you're going to hear anything routed to mixline stream here is what your stream is going to hear and anything you have routed to the mixline record is going to show up on the stream but not in your twitch vod now i'll show you how to set that up in obs studio as well so what we want to do is add a source audio input capture we'll call this one mixline stream you've got that in there and uh, all of your uh, spotify audio everything else should go now through your mixline stream add another input capture we will create a new one call this one mixline record okay and we want it to be the microphone mixline record okay and now uh, right click here go to advanced audio properties and for your mixline record because we don't want this to show up on your twitch vod uncheck track 2 because that is by default what your twitch vod track is so uncheck that from two and now your music won't show up in your twitch video so you won't get muted if you go into your settings and you go to output you can also change which track is the twitch vod track right here so you i can see that i have it set to number two so everything that is routed to channel is not routed to channel two will not show up in the twitch vod and that is how you route your audio in mixline and add it to your streaming software such as streamlabs desktop or obs and i hope you enjoy good luck and let me know what you thought